Bills Mafia. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. All right. Still getting active. Still signing away. Adding to the, you know, to the resources. And uh, this time we went to the other side of the ball, the dark side. The side that you know your boy loves the most. And we did that by way of signing linebacker Deion Jones. Hit the like button one time for the culture. And don't forget to subscribe, all right? So let's talk Deion Jones. Um, Nine-year vet. Ultra productive player, uh, spent time in Atlanta, Cleveland, and most recently Carolina with the Panthers. Um, super productive though, man. Um, things what over 700 career tackles. Stu has what five picks, started his career, took one to the house. Um, a tackling machine, sideline to sideline guy, can play, like I said, man, can play zone, really good against the run, good vision. Like I said, creates turnovers, creates splash. He's a dope player. And that's the big reason why he's been in the league for as long as he's been in. And at one point, I want to say he might have flirted with getting one of the higher paid contract line or highest paid contracts for a linebacker at one point. I think he might have had one one of those at one time. But um multiple seasons of a hundred plus tackles as well. Um whenever we start talking about those, that's just volume. That's that's production. There's no, you know, if ands or buts about that. But um, the big question or the big knock, right, in the sense of, well, if Deion Jones is all these things you say he is, Mosey, why is he signing for a one-year deal? Why is it at this stage? And why wasn't he signing a record-breaking deal or whatever, whatever, whatever? Big thing with Deion and has been the case with Deion the past, eh, maybe not this last season, but the past, you know, couple of seasons, injuries. When he's available, Pro Bowl caliber guy. That has not changed. But at the same time, he does miss time. Because, yeah, some of the injuries he's had have sidelined him. And that's the unfortunate part. But when we're talking about the value that we're getting him for, one year, more than likely vet men, um, this is a good situation to be in. Low risk, super high reward. You see these type of signings happening around the league, and when they pan out, you have a highly motivated player who's highly skilled and productive and a dude that has already had experience doing this, right? In terms of being out there making plays. And when I just think of our current situation, we know Matt's coming back, right? At what point, what does it look like? We're still waiting to see because it was, like I said, a you know, pretty significant leg injury. So we'll see what that is, man. We obviously know we got the young guy, uh, Dorian Williams, who we thought played extremely well at times last year, man. Um, Terrell Bernard's another one of those dudes, man, that we're excited to have come back. We know he kind of got dinged up at the end of the year. But he was a super fresh breath of uh, a super fresh uh, breath of fresh air, man, in the sense of, you know, what he was able to do from a production standpoint and stepping into his role. So when I think of Deion Jones, I'm like, you either are giving me more depth behind those two guys or you're giving me a third guy to come out there and, like I said, either push Dorian or even, you know, like I said, just bolster up that group a little bit more because, yeah, Dion definitely is a productive player, man, and has taken a lot of snaps, has made a lot of plays in this league, both, like I said, as a, you know, run defender, but also in coverage as well, man. So he's definitely one of those guys that I'm excited about. But uh, let me know your thoughts on Dion Jones joining the family. That blue and red. Oh, it's going to look gorgeous on him, man. But uh, let me know your thoughts on him, man, if you're excited about him, and ultimately, what are your expectations for Dion as well? But either way, you know, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, just remember, don't nobody circle the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. Ah.